right, man. So apparently, Pat, you found out that the Ripper is the worst weapon in the game. That's what some guy said, but I don't believe that for a second. Mm. Because I love Ripper Chan. Yeah, like, not only is he hating on the Ripper as as, an, as a cool weapon yeah. and as a concept, he's also hating on Ripper Chan. Yes. And you should never, ever hate Ripper Chan, kids. Never, ever. So here's like where... Sacred rule of best friends. With this oh, man. That bullshit that we just I, made up. That's such a great... Oh, no. Can you stop that from happening? I don't think so. No. Well... Yeah, I can. You... you, you mm. Ah! Can't not, stop that from happening! Not now, children! Oh, it's, oh, there's barfing, too! What was it, barfatoriums? Oh, boy. I think you should just leave. Yeah? Just give up. Well, a lot of... <laughs> so... This is a disgusting they room. They inexplicably killed themselves. They died of lonely hearts. Because the, uh, Necro Queen left. Yeah? That's what we're gonna go with? Yeah, Necro Queen. Yeah, seriously, so... The thing that I just found out just now is that the barf move on the barf man can actually hurt the other necromorphs. Yeah, I was, uh, I was playing something the other day where I was like, oh, this is so annoying, these things shoot this thing. Oh, wow, they hit each other. You know. Just like Doom. Did you just see that fly down? I saw something move. I was like, what? Man. Oh, man, I just remembered. This is like one of the dumbest things ever. Isaac, now she's nice. Where are you going? I'm going to the thing. Now she's That's a nice ghost here. that wants to help you. Yeah. Maybe she can give you one of those ghost blowjobs like they do in Ghostbusters. Yeah. I don't know, the idea of seeing my penis pop out the back of somebody's head is kind of disturbing. No, you wouldn't see anything. Okay. Because she's invisible. No, wait, oh. I mean, other people would not see it. Alright, what a... No, that would be weird. Oh, yeah, you're right. If no, I was a guy that walked into Isaac's quarters. So, like... All right, you know what? Yeah, what? yeah. All right, that's fine. So yeah, one of the dumbest things about Dead Space Two is like you saw that the monsters got past us somehow. Yes, because I opened the door for them, um, and then no one knows how it happened. It takes them about like. Oh right, it takes them about like one second to build up like the most disgusting monster hut ever. Yeah, monster hut. Thanks, Lance. But but I have a question, like how. Is this security really good where then someone, anybody else, could just walk behind whoever has authorization? It shouldn't it just be like, yeah, you can go. No, not you, though. It could be better. It could be better. Yeah. Hello? I don't know about this. Oh, this is the worst room ever. All right. You say that about every other room. I know. Ken Phelps, research log 43509. I can't stop thinking about the formulas from Patient Four's last session. You're so clearly ordered, they keep playing back in my mind. The final configuration seems within reach, I can almost solve it myself. It's funny, I was telling Travis the other day that it's almost like it wants us to succeed. I've never seen anything like it. Once we finally solve this heuristic stabilization problem, we should be able to start growing the layers of the marker from the mineral baths. We can't wait. Oh man, growing that marker seems like the best bats. idea we've ever done. We're growing markers now. Oh wow, in fact, here we go. They're basically like Chia Pets. So the- oh man. Everything about the marker I think is like the coolest space thing ever. Yeah. Like, number one, for some reason, the shape of the marker alone is enough to cause all of its goofy bullshit. Well, like an obelisk is never- like, I'll never view an obelisk as a positive symbol. What about, uh, uh, I got nothing. Yeah, you sure do got nothing. Yeah, nothing's got got here. <laughs> like, there's certain shapes, like, I'll say there's some shapes that are, like, neutral, where I'm like, eh, that's good or bad. Like, traditionally, I'll think that, like, a pyramid is pretty neutral. Oh, I like pyramids! But there could be cool, fun stuff in there, like a Noxua Moon. Yeah. There, there could be really bad stuff in there, like, um, Rathamon. 
Oh. Or that evil fucking pyramid in Las Vegas that I hate. It always you, seems like it's summoning set. You do not like that fucking pyramid in Las Vegas. So I'm not- well, it's, it is cool in that way. Oh, hexagons are my go-to for good or bad, depending on the context. Also, I don't like cubes that much. Oh, I love cubes! What well, do you- what do you, you get? Do you like the board cube? Yeah, it's great! So if the board cube was coming at you, you'd be like, I like this. I would- I would say that. I don't know if you actually would. Oh! See, look, a cube just attacked you. That's... Oh. What did you even get killed by? I don't by? even fucking know. fucking head exploded. Oh, boy. See, when you let down your guard, a cube will always get you. Oh, man, I love... Uh, so I, I remember I would talk to in an early part of this. What do you call this? Dead Video. Space 2. Yeah. Uh, where I was, like, talking about how much... Why can't the Earth just create cubes? I love cubes. And sure enough... The Earth absolutely does know how to create cubes. It pushes some kind of mineral or some shit out. And where is this done? What is this what? I don't know. Okay, well that's not a lot of information to go on. Yeah, it could have been better. It could have been better. Like, I'm not gonna... I, I assume it's, some, it's complicated it's, it's some to kind remember. Of, really, from well, there... Fuck off! Fuck you! Uh, it's some kind of crystal. Okay. Like cadmium or some shit. Yeah. And like it drops from the sky, shoots out of the ocean, what? Yeah, no, it just, the, it forms crystals in the shapes of cubes. Yeah. That's it? I don't know, I don't think that's... Oh, it. hey, what up? Yeah, that's not far enough, apparently. Yeah, that's far enough. Yeah, I gotcha. Why are I you guys really, such assholes in here today? I really love those pictures of, like, where other countries, like, either Russia or Japan, and it will show a picture of some fucked up fish that no one's ever seen on the beach, and then it'll have, like, a thing in Japanese, like, a caption Japanese or Russian, and then it'll, like, show a screenshot of someone translating it, and then the translation will say, What the fuck, this fish? What? <laughs> like, you're expecting, like, it's, oh, you're expecting, like, Oh, this is the no. the fucker fish that yeah. that that lives in the uh, no. It's just like the fuck is this with an accent? You're like, oh, and it's like who said this? Like where's the caption? You like translate that, but it's like a guy with a PhD in fucking marine biology. Oh boy, what the fuck this fish? We're all fucking fucked now, boy. <laughs> Don't know what fish that is. It's like it's like there's a there's a part in Shin Godzilla where they're like, oh, this thing will be crushed as soon as it makes its way onto land. Oh yeah. Because that's what scientists actually say if there's a creature of such size. Oh yeah, the inverse square law. As soon as it gets onto the ground, like its legs will just crumple under its own weight and it'll just explode or whatever. Yeah. Then the ocean, eh, it might be able to do that. It's fine. So in Shin Godzilla, like, ah, this thing will fucking explode as soon as it comes onto the land. It's a win-win for us. And one scientist is like, man, this thing's totally supporting its weight. It's super beast. And then they're like, you're the worst. You don't know. And then as soon as they say it, Shin Godzilla's like, ah, it's totally doing it. I'm able to stand, idiots. <laughs> you didn't think I could do it, but I could. Man, what happened to this guy? How'd he get stuck in that? It looks like he got harpooned. He's, Wait, oh, what? That's... No, what is it actually connected by? Nothing. Nothing! Yeah! Yeah! I guess it's just an invisible rope? I That's don't. great. That seems weird. That seems like when this level loaded in its shit. Oh, it had a little bit of a trouble. Yeah, it had a little trouble. Alright, that's where I'm supposed to go, so let's definitely not go there. What the fuck is this, a fish? Yes, please open this. I need the, whatever goodies you have for me. What do you have for me? Oh, there me? was a ruby semiconductor. Yeah, you like those. I do. What do we got? I got a bunch of bullshit. There's a platinum semiconductor. I... Oh, yeah. Look at all this bullshit I'm getting. I got it. All right. Yep. Well, oh, I heard a horrible monster. noise. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, you got me. You really got us. That's a new type. Well, uh, it's an old type that I love. Well, that's a new type in this. Ha <laughs> ha! Idiot. Or you might have killed that so fast and never saw the fuck. Look at the Ripper be awful. Look at it being so awful. Oh, man. Oh. That's probably- Oh, something else. That's- 
They're flip flopping away. Which one is it? Oh, it's that one. No, it's this one. What the way want? their physics work. After yeah, you, you can't kill tell them. if they're actually alive or the. Yeah, that one's physics. Physx. Gotcha. That's good. That's that's always oh, that, moving again. That got us. That got us pretty good, I think. A, we weren't expecting it because it was like in a brightly lit environment. And we even heard it make its presence known. We even but we heard it, man. We didn't, we didn't think All right. it was a real thing. What was I going to get over here to I don't do? Know, Char oh, yeah, I was upgrading this thing. Yeah. For whatever reason. That was the point. Well, because I don't think you had anything else you wanted to upgrade. Yeah, you're right. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alt fire damage. Eh, fuck it. Wait, can I get my oh, rig to yeah, be upgraded? Get to little no, no. Damn it, Jesus. That's just the worst, it's man. A little rough. What about stasis? Got the durability or the number of shots? I just want the upgrade speed. Fucking god. Ah, oh, fuck it. Back to the, back to the contact beam. Sure. We're just gonna upgrade this shit like this. Yeah. Then we're gonna sure, get two I guess. more of those. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You, you barely, I don't know what I'm you, doing, you man. barely use it. Yeah, but now I can use it. Yeah. You were you were physically barred from using it before. I was not allowed. Alright, now that we've destroyed whatever the fuck that thing is. Now that we got really scared. Stop doing physics shit! Yeah. When I'm not looking. Yeah, don't go to physics. I class. don't remember that being in the console version. I don't So yeah, as here's well. the most ridiculous nonsense in the world. Despite the fact that they only got in here like twenty five minutes ago. We talked about this before. They were able to gooify the entire fucking zone. They gooed out the outside of the sprawl as well. Grab that oh, battery. did they? Yeah, remember when we got shot out the sprawl for a bit and then we oh, went they back did in? do a fight. You're right. I think it's too much. Like, I don't think Necromorphs as a as a, a workforce to be all that like reliable, reliable, or or just just has a good work ethic. Like, I find that they'll probably just wander around for the most part. Not really do anything. Vomit on stuff, be dead. Yeah, I think just just flopping yourself around hallways is the best you could hope for. Or you're really fucked if you're just one of those wall ghouls again. You get the. Wait, what the? Oh, there you are. Oh. Oh, he is he is being bashful. Gotcha. That worked well. Sure did. Oh, hey. Yeah. All right, I see you this time. Like, these are the most oh, sudden enemies that are in the game. I'm looking at you. No, don't look at me. He looked at me. Come on. Come on, dipshit. No. Wow, look at that. Another one. Yeah. So, something that really bothers me, especially happens in older movies, and I think I talked about it before where I hate when there's a fireball effect, and some ass told sound designers like, you know what this needs? A jaguar roar. That's what it I, means. And I've never understood it. But like something that also bothers me is like I always hear I can hear it pretty well. But in anything early uh, early did... horror movies that there's a monster, is like someone goes, Let's take the sound effect of a pig yeah. and a bear. Yeah. And that's it. Let's not do more than that. Did you know that those animals are scary to humans? Yeah, but you know that, like, when you've watched a lot of movies that have their sounds in it, it becomes not scary at all. I did know that. But Dead Space has a bunch of fucked up sounds I've never really heard. I'm assuming some of them are pigs. Yeah. It's the people that are different. Smart people see codes and blueprints, but to everyone else, it's just noise. Noise that drives you mad. Okay. So, what they're discussing in this bullshit is yeah. that, like, okay, Seems so like we bullshit. built the marker, and what we did is we can tell that it gives off a field, okay, because we're very smart, yes? We're smart people. All right, so then we built a bunch of dampening fields around the marker so that it doesn't shoot off its horrible alien powers. Yeah, we don't want that. The last audio log we discussed was like, oh, those things don't work at all. The dampening fields? Yeah. People are doing marker shit all over the fucking base. Whoopsie. <laughs> They're doing marker shit. And then the, the last one we just read was just like, oh. Watch out, there's goo yeah, pods. Yeah, I see goo pod. Above you. Oh. No. Oh. Where's goo? Oh, oh it's in the corner. 
He tried to fool us with this fake dead goo pod. Yeah, yeah, I think that was, that's what it was trying to do, actually. Good job, goo pod. Yeah, you're, you're you, you moving gave it awful a, in the world. You gave it a good what for. I'd watch a sitcom that had a various types of necromorphs. They're just trying to live in a, a big house together. Ne oh. Necro oh. house. Oh, that? crawler. You drank all the milk again. Come closer, Isaac. The marker knows you're here. I still don't know what to do. When the time you shoot comes, it. You will. Boy, was the marker a lot scarier when its purpose was unknown. Well, most things are scarier when its purpose is unknown. All right. The evil babies are there. In this sequence. Hey, did you see that Terminator news? I fucking did. So, Linda Hamilton being back is cool, because it. So I saw someone quote something that made me like, Oh, you're totally right. It's like, Terminator is never about the Terminator or fucking John Connor. And it should never be about him. It's like, a, primarily. It's about Linda Hamilton. It's about Linda Hamilton Linda. Uh, and the other cool thing, I'm not sure if you saw it but, uh, along with the same article, but it's like, Cameron is officially like, this writes out every other Terminator after mine. I don't know if you knew that, but those movies were stupid as shit. I made good ones. I've never made a bad one. And it's like, yeah, it's true. Even though I said a couple of them were actually good, I gave them my blessing, but I was just saying that I was a huge liar. Yeah, they told me I could get some money if I did it. <laughs> and what with me- And I didn't even get money. And what with me being extra broke James Cameron. Yeah, yeah. I decided that I wanted- I could use money. Those Avatar cameras don't come cheap. Need that shit. <laughs> Nailed it. And now you're just gonna have an old grandpa terminator, an old grandma lady. That's fine. I guess. Old people can kill people too. <laughs> yeah, I know. Some of them are actually quite good at it. Look at Liam Neeson. He yeah, loves they, he they, loves being an old man and murdering people. Not so much anymore. He announced like no. last week. It's like, no, I'm not doing these this shit anymore. I fucking hate it. <laughs> I was Oscar Schindler for fuck's sake. Because I was Dark Man for fuck's sake. Dark Man would never. Oh kill yeah, people. that's what was going through his fucking mind. Oh, the the, I the legacy to... of Darkman. <laughs> I need to bring back, bring back the old time feeling. Yeah. I of did. when I wanted the pink elephant, then I snapped that guy's finger in half, and my girlfriend screamed. That'll I've be never just seen fine. Dark Man. Dude, you gotta see Dark yeah, Man. Yeah, yeah. Also, I'll watch it right after I fucking watch Alien Covenant. All right, I I, I was with someone yesterday. There, it's like, oh, I actually did watch that. And I was like, holy shit. So I've been denied this pleasure. Yeah. By all of my so-called friends. Yeah. That don't want to talk about it with me. But yeah. what did you think about the blankety blank shit? Fuck. Yeah. And I had a great time. Yeah, I bet you did. I did. You suffered together. It was amazing. But, uh, go oh. ahead. Yeah. Don't watch any of the Darkman sequels, but watch original Oh, Darkman. yeah, no, those are bad? Because cause the original Darkman was uh, directed by Sam Raimi, so all the fucking camera tricks of Evil Dead is in there. Oh, okay, I do like those. It's fun. I am a fan of that stupid shit. Also, show. you'll like it because it was a project that was made out of super spite. Oh, what? So, Sam Raimi's like, hey, I made the Evil Dead movies, I'm pretty cool, I, th I think. Yeah. So, hey, DC, give me the rights to Batman, I'm gonna make a really cool Batman movie. Oh, boy. And they're like, maybe... But okay. in instead? Instead, we're gonna give it to Tim Burton, and he goes, fuck that ass clown, I'm really angry. Fine, give me the rights to make, like, another superhero movie. No, you don't get that either. Fuck it! I'll just make my own lame asshole, and I'll just reuse dumb Batman shit I had in my head. All right, well, now I like Darkman. Because then you'll see him making it out of spite, where he's like, fuck. You know, it's stupid Tim Burton's Batman. I hate that. Why didn't you just tell me it was a spite movie? Because I just did. I'll, I know, but it was you took a little while. Well, because I realized how I could appeal to your worst nature. 
Man, that felt uh, inescapable. Yeah. It's almost like you took cutscene damage. Man, I hate you weird green ones. I think it said, like, the Dark Man sequel star fucking the guy that played the mummy and the Brendan Fraser. Like, he's the hero. Oh. That man can never look like a hero. Never. He always looked like a villain. I'm sure everything's great in data monitoring. Yeah, we're monitoring that data. How are you guys doing with the data in here? I heard some... I heard some interesting data analysis. So what I like is that every net like, I'm finding not just... Uh, dead guys, but I'm finding dead necromorphs. Like they actually did have some success. It is a fully expressed physical representation of the heuristic algorithms from Patient Four, with no breakdowns. The construction schedule begins in earnest tomorrow. Celebration is tonight. I hope I don't black out in the middle of the party. I'm anxious for some reason. Oh yeah. You're anxious, huh? Yeah. I would be a little anxious too if I was doing dumb bullshit with the mark. Look, we cr like let's let's ignore the events of Dead Space 1 entirely. Let's do that. All right. We have cr we have figured out that there's this alien artifact that makes people nuts. They don't like it. But it only makes them nuts cuz it puts too much data in their brain, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, we built it and we don't know what it does. And we built a ton of them. But we know it's neat. Let's, like, you know where this sh experiment shit should have been done? Very far away. You know it's like in a movie or, or whatever narrative where they'll go, Hey, we found some unknown shit. It's pretty crazy. Let's just poke around, right? Yeah. And then, like in a sequel or much later, smarter people with more money go, Don't fucking poke that shit. Look, we'll show you how to do it. Well, we can utilize this in a cool way, and things might go wrong, but we'll like, we'll give it our best shot. But in Dead Space, really, this game, even the guys with tons of money are like, we're just basically also poking at it. We don't even know what the fuck's going on, really. Like, does anyone? No. Who's the head of Unitology or the guy that founded it? Altman. Oh my yeah. good, look at this. So if they told him, it's like, hey, we found out that this happens. You think he'd be like, you stop it. Well, he hated it. Yeah, he hated that shit. He got eaten by monsters. <laughs> so like... What a great, like, that's a religion though. Yeah. I got eaten by monsters. Well, that's way cooler than what I'm praying to. Hey, my Altman, I heard that you love getting eaten by necromorphs. I think somebody followed up and told me that, oh boy. That Whoa. like, that Altman like ended up getting trapped in a room with a brute and Where a the spoon. Fuck is it? Oh, it's right. Like if I read, read, read on Twitter, I see a Twitter tw trending tomorrow and it says Will Smith, I'll be like, what's this? Uh, it's like Will Smith eaten by monsters. But founded his own sub-religion outside Scientology. Way into the way into the convergence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the the tithing. Oh, you know, like like well, I'll be like, yeah, sure, I'll 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 eaten fucking... by monsters, huh? Yeah. Well, that's an interesting new spin. <laughs> Good PR move. Interesting. Maybe funny as some of the tenets of Will uh, of Will Smithism. It's Smithism, yes. Smithism is like. Uh, is like, if there's someone that displeases you, toss them out of your house in a comical fashion and make sure they go, <laughs> On the third day, ask where are the video games? No, okay, so Smithism is literally just how to live your life like the Fresh Prince? Yeah. Okay, so like the devil would be Uncle Phil? Uh, yeah, 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 we'll be. Alternatively, it could be like the, uh... Oh my goodness. So, I know many people have called me petty, childlike, ill-tempered, and short-sighted. I don't recall any of this being said. But I am definitely not using the Ripper in the final area just to show off how amazing the Ripper is. Okay, wow. I'm I I I'm, I'm showing it off because it is the best. 
It is the best, he says. And how can you argue with those results? Well, that wasn't the ripper's fault that hit. Oh boy. See that, see that, see that it's helping. What? I don't even know. I, I now feel that at this point in the game, even though we're getting close to the end, is like uh, they're throwing you're, you're, they're throwing enough shit at you in certain spaces. I would that, actually that agree you, that, that you're getting hit a lot. That this is the shittiest part of the whole game, huh. because this. Is the... Am what? I full on money? <laughs> you be full on money? No, I'm not full on money. Uh, because this is the part of the game where they've decided, boy, Dead Space Three is going to be the coolest shooter ever. Yeah. And they're, they're just, like, I don't know if you remember the end of Dead Space 1 all that well, but, like, no. I, I feel like at this part of the game was when you were trying to repair the shuttle to get down to the planet, and Dang. then the final, you rem if you remember the planet, is like two rooms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, oh, look at this shit, you can just feel it. What the? Hey, that's a good idea. Look at this. Okay, look, look, at this. look at this. Look at this shit. Look at this. It's time for a contact beam. So I was thinking about this the other day. Uh, so all this game is still awesome and like holds up really well. There, the 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 general kind of story, the sort of how necromorphs don't really have like a main vil like a main antagonist. To mm -hmm. sort of funnel your like, yeah, I guess it's the marker. The marker, is, and, is, and in this game they realized that was an issue, so they made it Nicole. Yeah, uh, but then it stops being Nicole in this. Yeah, because Isaac inexplicably stops being crazy. But then there's the 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 guy that's taunting us. Yeah. The black security guy of Tideman. Tideman, whatever. So it like it lacks that kind of. Because you can't... Uh, Dead Space has never had a really good villain. Yeah, but it doesn't really need to. At the same time, it's like, that's why I always think back so fondly on RE4, or certain Resident Evils, because it's either Wesker, or Salazar, or... I love or, this, or, this bit. It's goofy. It's like, because this is the most sealed-off thing in the universe. Yeah. And then you look over, and it's like, oh, they're just they're just coming in. They're just, <laughs> just coming in. Free reign, they do. Uh, so I'm like, oh, man... Fucking, uh, uh, God, uh, Salvador is like cool or whatever, but it's like, I can't, there's no. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, right? And franchise. I'm thinking about how after the Ishimura, yeah. right? You would think, you would just think that they would reorganize the way that their security technology works because all security technology in the Dead Space universe works based on your biometrics and that lets you through the door. Which is fine. Unless your enemy is a bunch of human reanimated corpses that have that security clearance, yeah, <laughs> which is why those dudes can just literally walk, walk through the door. There, yeah. So it's like, guys, maybe. Well, we didn't think that would happen. I, I'm aware, I'm aware that you didn't think that would happen, but you did know that it happened on the USG Ishimura. You are aware that these things took place. Maybe, hey, look. Maybe the higher ups knew. Hey, look at that. I was yeah. able to do that. All right. Maybe the higher ups do, but the, like the day to day. They're like, let's like, not yeah. tell anybody because that's never gonna happen here. I don't. I don't think it'll go over well with the crew. With the grunts, when we tell them that we have to take their thing away because they might become horrible monsters. You might be. You might be stuck in Smithism or whatever. Oh yeah. All right, guys. But, or like, what am I talking about? The religion would be called Big Willie style. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's. No, I prefer some of those. Well, when I was in Los Angeles and we were listening to the radio, I would go, oh, it's that old Will Smith song. And then the actual song will play. And I'm like, no, this is the real song from the 70s or 80s that he just sampled 90% of it. I see. And I'm like, I didn't real. I knew one of them was like Wild Wild West, an actual old song. Yes. Um, fucking, uh, um, uh, uh, what was the other one? Uh, there was just three I heard on the radio where I'm like, oh, he didn't actually make this song. I didn't know that he didn't do that much work. It's no, crazy. he hates it. He hates work. 